What's up guys, Justin here with the CGEssentials.com. So I wanted to make this video because I was super excited to see a new feature that's getting added in Blender 4.0 that to me really changes the way that we can use Blender in the future. Let's go ahead and just jump into it. Okay, so I'm gonna start by saying that you can go to blender.org, go to download, and you wanna go into the experimental features in order to download this version. So this is contained in the Blender 4.0 beta version. So let's jump over into Blender. This is a massive change, at least for me, and it should be for really anyone that's used CAD software for modeling. So one of the complaints I've had about Blender is just like how non- um, non-precise the movement is, right? So when you move an object, for example, you just kind of like move your mouse out into space. You just pick a point and you tap the G key to activate this tool, right? And then you can tap like the X or the Y or the Z keys to lock to an axis. Um, and you just kind of like move things until they get close. Um, and then you kind of drop them in here, which if you've worked with like a SketchUp or an AutoCAD or something like that can actually be extremely frustrating. Now, I will say that there are snap functions in here that we've been able to use, right? So you can tap the G key in order to like snap to the grid or whatever, um, but they just haven't been especially precise, right? So for example, say I wanted to snap this rear foot to this corner. Well, notice how if I tap G over this object, it's not actually picking the rear foot even though my mouse is over the rear foot, right? It's picking the front foot instead. So it's just like super imprecise. Um, but what they've just added with the move function is the ability to pick a start point. And so what that means is that means if I tap the G key right now, if you look down at the bottom of the page, um, and I'm trying to circle it with my mouse and it won't allow me to, there's an option here to tap the B key to set your snap base. So if I tap B, and then mouse over this object, notice how my object doesn't move. And this actually allows me to pick a point, right? Wherever I want to pick and set that as my snap point. Now, if I click and I move my mouse like this, notice how it's actually going to snap with that point that I set. And that'll work with or without the snapping turned on. So if I tap G with this object, right? And I hit B. What that's gonna do is that's gonna allow me to set my base point for my movement like this. And then I can move my object wherever I want. And notice how that's coming in here and that's snapping to different points. That is a massive improvement over the way that you could move objects with snapping before, right? So if you toggled the snapping on before, you know, maybe it would pick the right point, maybe it wouldn't, depending on what you had selected in here. Um, it was just very frustrating. But now you can just tap G, tap B, set a base point, and then you can place these objects wherever you want them, right? So G, B, point, point. And we could set this to like edge center if we wanted to, so G, B. But notice how I can like precisely pick my point in here and align these objects. So massive change, at least for me, in the way that you can move objects around in Blender. That as someone who came from CAD software, this has been one of my biggest complaints with Blender, and they've solved it with this new feature. So now you can set that base point, set your object, and notice how I can precisely move these together. All right, so we can definitely talk about some of the other Blender 4.0 features that are coming out. This one for me, the way that it affects the way that you model is just massive. So I am super excited to check this one out. But leave a comment below. Let me know what you think about this new edition. I just love having that conversation with you guys. As always, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks guys.